What is the best day of the week? For a lot of people, especially employees, they'll say Friday is the best day of the work week. And uh, that may be true for a lot of people because, you know, Friday is one day before the weekend. Usually there's a lot less work to get done. But I'm here to tell you that Friday is not the best day if you're an entrepreneur. Friday is actually one of the one of the tougher days for entrepreneurs. Uh, I'll tell you what is the best day and I'll tell you why that is in today's coaching session. Okay, so I promised you I was going to tell you what the best day of the week is. Well, the best day of the week for business owners is actually Monday. And you might say, oh, Monday, I hate Mondays. Monday is just one of the hardest days of the week for a lot of people. And you're wrong about that uh, from one perspective. And that perspective is Monday is the day where you get to really set the foundation for what your week is going to look like. Uh, I use Monday to coach my clients, a lot of my coaching calls. In fact, all of my coaching calls these days happen on Mondays um, because what I want to do is kick the week off and get a, get a good momentum going so that the following days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, there's, you're building momentum throughout the entire week. And Friday for a business owner really is a wrap-up day. I mean, uh, if you look at your email, for instance, I, I like to look at my email as sort of a gauge of what's going on in, in uh, the business world or what's going on in society. And when I look at my email on Fridays, usually about 12 noon on Friday here on the West Coast, the email volume starts to drop. By Friday afternoon, there's almost no email email coming in whatsoever. In other words, nothing's really going on. There's nobody you can contact. Everyone's out of the office. So Fridays become really difficult. So if you want to be more successful, my suggestion to you is really use Mondays to set the foundation for your week. You'll notice that it's going to make a huge difference, not just for your business, but for your clients as well. Stay tuned next time. We're going to have another coaching session, and I hope you'll join us because I have a lot of fun doing these, and I know that uh, they're helping a lot of folks because they get your feedback, and I really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching.